getting hungry again. <laughs> okay. We're on. Okay. Here we go. We're going to be practicing fireball. Oh, fireball. Here we go. Fireball. We're going to be learning how to door break the sword when we go around. So, I'm going to swords on the head. Okay. Here we go. We're going to grab our sword. Bend down. Turn around. We got spaces. So, you got to remember your front dancer. Okay, here we go. Okay, and lift it up. Always pin up, girl. Put your knee up. Your shoulder. Uh, I mean, sword up. Shoulder is a sharp object. Mm -hmm. Like this. And always pinch. Do not put your hand right here or underneath the blade. Always pinch the sword like this. Okay, here we go on putting your head down on your balance point. Find your balance. Ooh. You get your balance? Well, I'm working on it. Take your time. It's better to be safe than sorry because do you know what? Swords fly off and hurt somebody. Yeah, no kidding. Wow, okay. Hmm. There we go. You almost get it's always in the middle, middle of your head and middle of the sword. You can see it's if it's balancing. Now here's your arms that's got to go in front of you. Okay, I know your arms are going to be very stiff. Now you're using your foot, and you put your foot as a T, pedal around. You're the beginner, so we're going to go slow. Go around. Now use your fingers, and, you know, use your tribal fingers. Okay. See how you look in the mirror? Mm hmm See? Go like this. Once you get comfortable with the wave and balancing. Mm-hmm. Can you see how the handle in front of your sword mm -hmm. will, uh, will not fly off from your front arms? Might fly off from your back if you don't balance it. Okay. If you get a little faster, you be like this. With your pelvic. But you don't, you're a beginner, so don't don't brush it. Yeah. And if you do get dizzy, go the other way with the sword, like this. Always go the opposite direction if you do get dizzy. There we go. See how your arms? Mm -hmm. Look at this. It's a breaker. You know all that sword's going to fly off in the front. Nope. Now you got to watch it from the back, though. You can do back that I'm... It's more of a... This is not easy. Uh, I'm not going to chant something like that. That does not look like a beginner move. Uh, it's very hard. It's, it takes a lot of arm. You can go back to uh, both arms, but I'm not very limber. I always have to go front, so you go like this. You can more get used to the sword and used to it, faster you go. And then you grab the handle, always grab your handle, and you pinch. And then you pin that girl, and you go. Show everybody your sword is and very smile. Yeah, and smile. <laughs> this is sharp. This is not a phony baloney sword. And heavy. Like that. Very heavy. Okay, now you want to do the knee. Here we go. Balance. And you would have the injuries or whatnot. Always uh, balance your sword on the injury more foot than the other one because you you could balance the one on the good strength foot. So if you balance, I'm not good at this. This is more advanced. Okay. Amber might be more balanced, so I'm not good at this. I need more practice. But if you balance 
like this. You could do snake arms. Well, I almost got it. Yay! I need more yoga. After the holidays, I'm going to have to do some more yoga strengthening. There you go. And they grab the hold, the handle. You always show your sword and pinch. There you go. Now, here's one more move that I'm going to share with you. This is not easy. Well, actually, i got one more after this. Set. Okay. Put it on your hip. Find your hip bone. You know where your hip bone is? Stick your finger in there. Amber. <laughs> they always taught me, you find your hip bone, and you lean into your dance. You have to pivot. This is not easy. This is more really a dance move. Not easy to do on an empty stomach either. But you have to lean into it. better you really have a floor. Okay, there we go. It's better to have a floor. I'm off the video, but if you go like this, can I go around? Oh, I gotta go around with this thing? Oh, I don't know. Pivot. Let's see. This is advanced hard. Yeah, I was on Uber Soil better right now. Pivot with your right foot. And this carpet does not make it. You That's why I was teaching you the pivot foot. <laughs> Hip bone. See, you stick your finger in there. This is your hip bone. It's sinking down your hip. Oh yeah, I know where my hip is. It's very bony. <laughs> so it's not hard to find. And do you know this is really good exercise? Because I am having a, a burn. <laughs> yeah, my we can pivot. Pivot. If you feel like it's going to fall off, and you just go, lift up. Like that. Okay, one more move you're gonna do, okay, is shave. You show everybody your sword that you're going up. Now you're coming down like this. And do you billy rolls? Goes up, up, down, up, down, like a body wave. Up. Billy rolls. Up. There you go. Up. So we're going up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Be sure to breathe too when doing so. <laughs> I think you can traveling with this move all over the stage if you wanted to. You can even do the camel. I know you haven't learned the camel yet. Okay, I'm also in that. Oh, it's very hard to do on your stomach. <laughs> okay, and that's, and then we I mean, got that, but this is advanced when it's really hard. This is not easy to do. This is advanced. This is what I'm into. <laughs> I'm not easy at all to do. And always make sure it falls. To grab that shoulder, <laughs> I mean that um, handle. Woo! It's not oh easy. God. No, it is not. This is advanced. I can see why. I'm going to be learning more advanced moves. Let me go to 16. She's taught me how to do real well. This is, you know, not as. And we watch the video. Yeah, this is hard. We do not really plus to touch the handle. But I'm working on this one still. It's at the vamps. I did not at the um workshop at Tessin. What kind of move is that? <laughs> I go, that's a vamps move, it's not easy. Now you always when you're done with your move, look up. And pin up girl and put your arms up. Yes. You know, you can even go like this. You can have your hip look like a slant <laughs> pose. See, you can nice thing look like you got big on my hips. <laughs> you can do a slant move, you know. Okay, and I'll show you. See, do this pose. 
if you do the opposite direction. See? Can I have your arms uh -oh. up around? Don't worry, it's it's seeing you. Okay. Smiling. Yay, yay, yay. There you go. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. And there's next move, but I can't do it. There is a lot of floor work you can do with this. You can put it on your stomach. I'll show you one more move, and that's it for the swords today. Put it on tummy. <laughs> Bend. Bend. Bend your knees. Bend your knees. And you can do snake arms. Sun dancers do a billy, if you could do a billy roll, you could do a billy roll with it, but <laughs> make sure you run slant. Oh, wow. Yes. That is, um, <laughs> that's a, a tip, uh, that's a, a toughie right there. And you can do that on the floor work. So we're gonna do I'll, I'll get my practice from before. More than you do with your knees, you know, you can do these, your wrists, snake arms. So you can move to different parts of your body. There's people you can do this. I'm oh, yeah, this is hard. I'm on your street. What really? You got that going on? Mm-hmm. Well, they probably want to hurt me with my metal chin. <laughs> this is not hard. This is hard. That's a vance. On your chin, and you have to lean back. I'm still working on that. I got a balance, though. Yay! You, all your sword dancers out there. <laughs> there you go. Now do a snake arm. Now you see? You yeah, grabbed it. It was bad. It was third. I couldn't go. That is a Vans move. Oh, see, and I didn't feel anything, but that's because I have... I can't do this so either. Can. I won't do this. That hurts. Yeah, that hurts. <laughs> <laughs> There's dancers can put it on your nose, but I will not do that. And you can put it on your forehead like this. Is there such thing as balancing it on your foot? Yes. Oh, wow. This is a lot of bounce. <laughs> Noticed. The chin? Oh my. Okay, that's enough for swords today. Thank you for watching. That's mostly some basics. I showed her some advanced moves, but she's a beginner, so this is the first time, so bear with her. Arr. Okay, well now we put her swords down nicely. Yay! Snake arms. We're all done with that. Yeah, we showed you oh, some. Cool. Okay, now I have.